What do you? Why are we doing this? I have no idea. Well, you started it. I don't know what to do with my hands. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I am KJ <laughs> with the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. This is producer Patches. He has a spinoff called the Kind of Nerdy Dudes. We are the Winter Soldier to her Captain America. Oh, I, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Although, I mean, Winter Soldier's really kicking butt. As long as we're not the joy to your friends, I'm good. I still say you're uh, closer to Joey than you are Winter Soldier. <laughs> and you're on the podcast with us most of the time. Well, that's just, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally not. You're really not. <laughs> I'm no help at all. Uh, so oh a little God. bit of a week in review with the kind of nerdy stuff that is going on. Uh, by the way, both of those podcasts, if you uh, would like to support your fellow nerds, you can go to kindanerdynetwork.com and you can find uh, you can find where to find us. Yes. Essentially. As, <laughs> as Kitsy says, all the things and stuff. No, all the stuff and things. All the stuff and things. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm saying all the things and stuff. Okay. That, that's good. You'll keep, you'll stay out of copyright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, the big thing this week that most people were excited about was uh, the, the Ghostbusters trailer and seeing the, uh, the mini stay puffed. Yes. That dude. they were so cute. They're so cute. They're very, rem uh, very uh, reminiscent of the adipose from Dr. Who. That's it. <laughs> Super, super creepy. Like they even sounded like the adipose. Yeah, they're like, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't like squeak like that. But yeah, yeah. No, I can't either. I mean, I probably could, but Please it wouldn't don't. be good. Yeah. If you haven't watched Doctor Who, if you go look up the adipose uh, episodes, you'll be like, oh yeah, they're like. They're exactly like the little Stay Puff guys. Yeah. Um, but it was it was fun to see, and it's exciting that I think that movie theaters are starting to have some confidence that these movies are actually going to come out now when they're yes. supposed to. Star Trek Discovery put out a new trailer for uh, season four. Well, and on the Star Trek news, uh, oh, season Q. two of Picard. Yeah, Q is going to be going to be Hugh part of season two coming back. It's so exciting. And uh, rumor has it. They're going to be casting a new Jean-Luc Picard. Oh, dear. Who so, would do that? OK, so here's the rub on that. Uh, it's not a rub. The yeah, cool thing is, say, is it a rub? Well, with Q coming back and, you know, and, and it's speculated that they're going to be doing deep dives into Picard's past. Ah, so okay. they're not recasting his role. They're adding another Jean-Luc Picard to play a young Jean-Luc Picard. Okay. I mean, that's, I kind of understood that, but I still think it's like the, the kid that had to play uh, the Han Solo. Like that's, those are, that's tough. That's tough. Well, here's the thing. I think that was tougher because that was a standalone movie. And it wasn't like you had Harrison Ford there to back you up. Patrick Stewart, I'm sorry, Sir Patrick Stewart Thank is you. going to be in this show. Yes. So not only are you going, I mean, like, I think that's going to be, that's going to be the ultimate, the, the ultimate uh, uh, key to this is that, yes, you're going to see a younger Picard, but then it'll flash right back. And then you have Sir Patrick Stewart uh -huh. sitting right there. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? It totally makes sense. All right. Yes. So it, 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 uh, a little uh, more time to develop the character and let the actor kind of get yes. his footing into these big shoes. Exactly. Yeah. As opposed to, hey, here's not Harrison Ford. Yes. <laughs> so that poor, that poor kid. Uh, a few other things this week. Uh, there were a lot of people mourning uh, the fact that uh, Bridgerton is going to have a new cast and some of their favorites are not coming back for that. Yes. Uh, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, HBO uh, kind of teased this week. I cannot believe we're sitting here talking about the 10th anniversary of Game of Thrones. What? Yes. HBO is planning a 10th anniversary celebration for the game for Game of Thrones. That is impossible. <laughs> That's absolutely. The, you know what? Yeah, perspective. Yeah, perspective. First, yeah. Listen, the first episode aired on April 17th of 2011. That is 10 years ago. Wow. <laughs> 
but it makes sense because if you if you look at 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 macy williams and sophie turner like they're they're full-blown adults and they were just babies in that yeah okay yeah the loki trailer (laughs) was out earlier this week too that's part of the weekend review so it just looks i i i am so excited for this and um i don't I don't want to like deep dive here into no. Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'll just say that I had a thought today with ex- as excited as I was when they announced the shows that were coming to Disney Plus. I had Falcon and Winter Soldier so high, like that's going to be like yep. what all of the other shows are going to have to answer yep. to, right? They're going to set the standard. And then WandaVision came in, and now you're watching Falcon and Winter Soldier after that. You're like, I can't compare the two. They're different shows. I got to stop doing this. And yep. then that Loki trailer drops, and I'm like, uh oh. Oh, that might be more interesting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's all continuing stories of different parts yeah. of the timeline that they're putting together for right. us. But, uh, but I'm super. I mean, and yeah. I mean, seriously, you can't get better than Tom Hiddleston. Oh, and, yeah. you know, and this is probably going to be the first thing that Owen Wilson has been in that I'm going to love. Oh, you don't like Wedding Crashers? No, nah, yeah. Okay. I think, you know, also this week, uh, there was there was some stuff about Mortal Kombat. A new featurette came out. Yeah, uh, there was um, the the quick the quick little snip was a Sub-Zero and a Scorpion Scorpion going at it. And I was like, ooh, that's not my thing, but I know it's a lot. Oh, Sub-Zero is my dude in the video game. Oh, and just back to Loki really quick. I don't want to go deep into it, but I did. um There was, and I made you look at it. Uh Don't say what it is, but I did the freeze frame thing Uh where I was like, wait a second. I (sighs) noticed someone else before, and then you're like, is that? And we did the girls fighting. I move your head. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a great week in review. Melody Pond and Amelia Pond. (laughs) Who will win? (laughs) Get over here. (laughs) They're just getting ready for WrestleMania. (laughs) Yeah. Night one starts tomorrow night, 7 p.m. WWE Network, or if you have Peacock. That's part of the package now. All right. So that's a little um, kind of nerdy weekend review. If you are watching this on <laughs> Friday Night Live, <laughs> welcome to Friday Night Smackdown, the cat edition. Right. Uh, the Pond sisters going at it. And you can always join us Friday nights <laughs> in the kind of nerdy network for the kind of nerdy night in. Just follow that link there. Thanks for watching the pre-show. <laughs>